Hello my friends, I'm Sarah, welcome to Grace in My Space, and welcome to The Haven Cottage. If you're new to my channel, The Haven Cottage is our Airbnb, which I have brought back to life over the course of the last 10 months. Everything has been filmed and documented, and if you followed along on the journey, I hope that you've enjoyed it, and today I get to share the final result. This is gonna be such a fun project. I'm gonna bring you guys along from start to finish. We're renovating our lake cottage. Welcome to the Haven Cottage. This is our Airbnb in West Michigan. It is a beautiful, sweet little cottage and I'm so excited to show you all of the projects and DIYs that have gotten it to this point today. Through the journey, we had a lot of fun together. I updated the majority of the cottage with cosmetic changes and simple DIYs. It is not difficult to take a space and bring it into your own style. I updated the fireplace by painting it to a more neutral and less commanding color because the fireplace is such a central focal point and such a statement in this room. Then I tackled the entryway where we toned down all of that bright red paint and then I added some beadboard. I did some very simple peg rail and we painted it all to make it look much more streamlined and cohesive with the rest of the cottage. If you missed any of the videos through the process of updating the cottage, I will link the playlist for you in the description. I taught a lot of different DIY skills through this entire renovation. I gave you all of the ins and outs and tutorials for how to take a space for bland or just simply not your style and bring it into something that you really enjoy, is more your style, and adds functionality and character to your home. The next project I tackled was the main bedroom. Simple paint, beadboard, and some styling is all that it really took to update this space. It has some great options like a built-in dresser and built-in shelving, a great space for storage, and fits a king-size bed beautifully in this cozy retreat. Now let's head upstairs. This is the before of our loft with two twin beds. It was very basic and bland, but a great starting point. I added some character with really fun wallpaper, which I gave a full tutorial on how to install peel and stick wallpaper, especially on those tricky parts. And it turned out as one of my favorite focal points of the cottage. I finished off the loft with some very simple styling, a really practical space with twin beds, their own individual lights, and a lot of comfort and coziness. Back down into the bathroom, we did cosmetic updates once again with paint, with wallpaper, and just ensuring that it is well stocked for all the guest amenities that you enjoy at an Airbnb. Now let's head outside. I tackled a project on the side of the house where there was a lot of weeds and overgrowth to create a foot washing station for our guests. It's a very simple project. I have a full video on how I accomplished this, but now we have a great aesthetically pleasing space where we're also able to wash off all that sand before we head inside. Bonus, it has some of the best views of the cottage.
Now let's have a very quick recap and reminder that this is what the house looked like before we did anything to it. And after all of these very simple but extremely impactful projects, we have a beautiful retreat that we are so excited to welcome you to. You can enjoy our double-sided gas fireplace, fully stocked kitchen, incredible views overlooking an all sports lake, in a living space that is made for comfort. Our cozy cottage is light and bright, but still quaint and full of character. The full bath offers a double vanity and full laundry service. The final two projects that we'll likely tackle this winter are updating the laundry room to get rid of that red and bring it into cohesion with the rest of the house and perhaps some cosmetic updates in the kitchen as well. Our cottage sleeps four with a king size bed in the main bedroom and two twins in the loft. Right out your living room windows, you have a full view of the lake, which is gorgeous, summer, spring, winter, or fall. We have a large deck with very comfortable seating, a gas deck fireplace, as well as an outdoor fire pit with a s'more station in the side yard. Our dock and swimming platform are out seasonally during the warm months in Michigan, but you can enjoy the lake even in the wintertime. You'll also enjoy a gas grill and outdoor picnic table. The sunsets are incredible every evening as you enjoy a very calm and peaceful lake. In addition, when the weather is right, we do have a private all sand beach that is elevated away from the water as well as direct access to the shore. In the winter time, it's perfect for ice fishing or ice skating. And the spring is especially beautiful as all of the garden starts to bloom and come back to life. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing the before and after, all the DIYs that went into this, all the cosmetic updates that make this possible. It doesn't have to be a full renovation to update a space. And I hope that you can see that and appreciate that through this tour of our cottage. We would love to have you come stay with us. I will put all the booking information in the description below and you can check our calendar for availability for your next retreat. I hope you enjoyed following along on the journey of updating this space over the course of 10 months 
and that you enjoyed seeing it come together in completion today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.